Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you five different Chrome extensions that can level up your Notion experience while using the Chrome browser. So let's get started. The first extension we wanted to show you is called snipo.io and it's a great way to take notes while you're watching educational video content. So let's try it out by first going to a YouTube video, for example, this one about progress bars in Notion. And then if you click on the Snipo icon in your Chrome extensions, then you can immediately take notes to Notion by clicking here. And it's going to place it inside this database that Snipo has created, which includes all of these properties, such as whether or not it's finished, your status, note and tags, and even the total video duration. And what's useful is that it creates these timestamps for you to the YouTube video automatically. And if we go to the main database, you'll see that there is this YouTube notes database here. And this is just a really handy way to keep track of your videos and learning progress. And it's just a really good extension. Notion Boost is the next Chrome extension we would like to share and is a great way to add formatting inside of your Notion pages that you can use across all of your pages. So for example, if we go to our Notion page here, and we click Notion Boost icon in our Chrome extension. And you can see that you can decide whether or not to show an outline of the page, whether or not you want full width for all pages, small text for all pages, and so on. So this is really nice if you always want full width and always want small text and an outline, then you don't have to click it each time by going to the three dots here, but instead you can just set it by going here and then deciding to turn these on. The next Chrome extension we wanted to share is called ChatGPT to Notion. And this is a great Chrome extension if you want to easily save your ChatGPT questions and answers to your Notion pages. So if we go to ChatGPT here, we asked ChatGPT about Notion and how to use Notion. And after generating, you'll find that there is this icon here to pin it to your Notion page. So if we click here and we just decide to save it for example, to this task database, you can just click save and it's going to show up in your database. So let's say we go to this task database here. And if we just go all the way to the bottom, you'll see that there's this using Notion ChatGPT prompt and answer. And what's really nice about this is that it saves the link to the ChatGPT and it just writes everything out that you want it there. And in order to use this, make sure that you have a URL property in your Notion database, or it's not going to be able to save it. The next extension is Notion's Web Clipper, and this is a really useful tool if you want to easily save web pages to your Notion pages directly from your Chrome browser. And it does have a few problems in terms of how it saves your pages. So it sometimes doesn't work quite as well as we would like it to, but overall it works well for what we need. And let's just try it out by going to a web page, for example, this tutorial on relations and rollups in Notion. And if we go to the web clipper icon, we can save it to any database you want inside your workspace. And if we just click save page, we can go to our Notion page and it gets saved here with the URL. So this is also a really useful way to clip your web pages to Notion and it even includes photos and text. The next extension we wanted to show you is called Tailored Notion. And this is a great way to customize the look of your Notion pages that you otherwise would not be able to accomplish uh, if you were using your web app. So with Tailored Notion, you can choose a custom color and font that would normally not be available. So if we go to our Notion page here, and if we click on our Tailored Notion icon, you can choose what sidebar color you want as well as your top bar color, background color, font color, and even the font type from all of these options. So if we just refresh this, and now you'll notice that it's already customized here. So if we go here and then choose a different color, let's say this purple and we hit save. And if we refresh it, 
you'll notice that it's now purple. So this is a great way to make your experience using Notion more fun and with these custom colors that you wouldn't otherwise be able to access. So those are our five Chrome extensions for Notion that you can find on the Chrome Web Store. We'll be leaving the link to all of these in the description below. We hope that these are helpful for you. Which one is your favorite? We'd love to hear from you. And let us know if there was anything confusing or if you have any questions or comments about this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.